Well, when I got to be a little older, I wanted to be a lawyer. Okay. But at that time, the only lawyers I knew that were women were Portia, who was facing life on a radio program on one of the soaps, Mm -hmm. or Deborah, who was a judge in the Bible. But I, I, I wanted to do that as I grew up on a, co- on a cotton farm. I'm a cotton pick and cotton chopper. And as Emil Greaser, who was my representative when I was appointed to the court, said that the cotton patch had done more for education than any other single thing in the state of Oklahoma, because you do want to get out of it. So when I got my driver's license, one of my mother's friends was a lawyer in Cordell. And his wife was his paralegal. She was his secretary in those days, but now we're paralegals and administrative assistants. Mm -hmm. So she wanted to take the time off during cotton picking vacation, which was no vacation, but you turn out school to go pick cotton. Well, I'd been moving the trailer and helping the women empty the sacks And he asked if I would come and give his wife a little relief because I had taken shorthand. And I said, oh, yes. So I I drove to Cordell and worked as a secretary that summer and met the lawyer down the hall who became my career planner. Uh He said, "Uh, you ought to just be a lawyer. Well, I liked that idea. But I needed a way to pay for it. And so that's because I was a med tech before I was a lawyer, MTASCP, did my internship at St. Anthony Hospital. And then after I graduated from law school, four years of night law school at OCU, JT Bailey said to me, well, I'm really proud of you, but you you ought to get one of those jobs out at the Supreme Court. You ought to be one of those staff lawyers out there. Well, I met Justice Hodges at my first year in law school at a party that OCU threw at the Beacon Club for some of the the class and for the justices of the court. And I met Justice Hodges, and we later became really good friends with the family. And two and a half years later, he came to ask me if I would like to come and be the first woman staff lawyer at the Supreme Court. So I am the first one. 